my god i couldn't say that part because I, I just know it's gonna be too funny but i would tell them like you know you gotta have some real 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 masculine feminine energy to be like hey i deserve the best everything is energy i had to like you know how hard some people can't let go of the outcome like, you know, yeah, you got the vision board, but, like, I'm going to let go. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust the universe. Because I know I'm going to have that homeless shelter to help women so they don't have to ever go through what I'm going through, especially moms. I And it's going to be a program where during the months that they're, they're getting the EBT, they're getting the stuff together. We're getting the room suites where they're checking everything. Even the children's toys, there's nothing, there should be no illegal substance. Making sure they go to a job because there's no excuse because you we, we are watching your children. You're in, you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you missed it and you came late, you get a, um, a sandwich that's wrapped up. Because you missed the hot meal. And I said, hey, I'm, I'm planning this. I'm too, I'm too, I'm not worrying about somebody I was too good for that didn't, that looked at me and be like, oh my God, you're too good for me and try to mistreat me. You know, even girls would tell me because they went through it. A lot of women went through some narcissistic relationship like I did. Where the person try to make you feel like you're not worthy. They don't want to provide. Then they show you they providing for somebody they just met, a hoe or somebody they cheating on you with. They try to have some control because they mad at you because you see their manipulation and no matter they went and got a bachelor's, they, they're therapists, they're psychologists, they can't get to you because you have a certain limit. Whoever they used to deal with, probably they have no self-respect and that's what these men want. So go have those type of women. I don't judge you. This is your life. This is your life. I don't judge you. You want to have somebody that's easy? You want somebody that's going to lay on their back and do what you say? Cool. But I, I like how I respect myself. I like having someone that is catering to my needs too, as I do to them. Because for a man, woman to be submissive to a man, a man has to make it be known it's safe to be submissive. And I remember when that grown man was saying that. Because it's going to be an imbalance if one person is overworking and doing much and showing all the love. And then you got to tell this person to reciprocate when this person see you struggling. That's when God rest this man. So I already said it and I put the clip in the video. And for my OGs that knows that, thank you. It's for the people who've been here since day one. Because this man said when he was at this red table, well brown table, and it was all black men talking about empowering and mental health. And he said like, you know, his granddad when he passed away, he said, if you have to watch somebody suffer, but that person watch you and you going through it and they there for you, you really don't fuck with that person. And you got to wait until that person asks you for help. You don't like that person. That person's not interested in you. You feel me? Y'all got to get the hint and y'all got to get the hint when the hint is hinting. It's that simple. You're too good for that person. You got to look at the shadow work. You got to start doing mommy and daddy shower. work. You got to start looking at it like, um, what's that shit called? Um, damn, I'm almost there. Self-esteem, confidence. Confidence is everything. Someone making you not have your confidence, you need to stay away from them. Because how somebody asking you for your number and then misleading you information, you said a date. A date means we're going bowling and all that stuff. You shouldn't even have to waste your breath on explaining. Because that's another test that these men like to do. And women. Because I'm bisexual. Stay away from people that's just so pretty. They think that you're going to tolerate them because they look good. Oh, now the date is at my house. You want to still come kick it? No, that person just wants you for a booty call, man. And the person didn't even acknowledge, they tell you last minute of the day of the date, oh, it's going to be at my house. Do that person show any type of respect to you or they self? Because clearly, somebody who has respect for themselves, they will make sure that, hey, I do care about this person's feelings and I want to be known that they safe and sound and secure, that da-da-da-da. Come on now. Come on now. Energy don't lie, bro. 
energy don't lie don't be around people that's giving you half ass shit what you allow is what will continue you deserve the best and the reason why you deserve the best because you give yourself the best and that's one thing i realized but i kept staying in things because i thought oh you know i don't know how to talk to you i thought you know I, I just shut down and I just wait until this person change and, you know, grow. And eventually, eventually, I think they will do right by me. And that was not the case. That's why I don't give people the benefit of doubt no more. It takes that one. I don't give a fuck. We best friends. I don't give a fuck if I just met you. I don't give a fuck if you feel some type of way. I don't give a fuck if you send me the evil eye. I don't give a fuck. Because people know what they're doing. I even just had to tell a friend, like... I, I hate how I, I'm so supportive of somebody's dream and they find it so sweet and nice and they look at it weird at the same time like I want something from them. I don't know what's with people thinking friendships, relationships, it's always what you get out of a person. That's a gold digger. But I kid you not, you have to look at your relationship like if you was to have a kid with this person, you want somebody that will give you leisure. You will, you will want somebody that gives you peace of mind. Because somebody has you do everything. They don't care about your life, Leelood. Because stress is a silent killer. You have to learn to rest. You have to learn to take breaks. You have to meditate. You have to learn to be around people that love you and not only just pleasing the body. That's just giving like a Jezebel spirit for real. And some of these people know they got that on them. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. The silence is loud. That's why they keep coming back like, you know, you know, they don't want to talk about what they did wrong, but they want to talk about how we can make it right. No. You don't want to talk about how I feel. Then you don't care about my feelings. And I'm not doing this. You shut me out. You shut me down. I'm not doing that shit. That's what that five year relationship. I'm not wasting no time. I even find there a red flag someone trying to make you your girlfriend the, the first day. And, you know, another red flag is you, you. this person thinking just because you know they got a good job, they take care of their kids, and you know their birthday, and their favorite color, and what they like to eat, and what they want out of a relationship, and what they want their spouse is enough. No. You need to date this person. You need to see how this person acts towards waitress. You need to see how this person acts towards spontaneous dates you know treating a woman that they chose to pick because some of these men do this all the time that's why steve harvey wasn't lying these men are hunters they're picking the ones they think that's gullible that they think is insecure and sometimes they think it could be wrong because you could be that one girl that checked them and be like you thought you was gonna get some after a week of knowing each other after a month of knowing each other and then the crazy thing is you don't even respect me that i said no you make it seem like oh we're grown why we gotta wait why we got why you getting mad like that's how you know something's up when you in the car with the person and this person at a 10 at a fucking 10 at a fucking 10 and you're the you're, you're, you're the only one in the car with them like are you good like, you probably did this to somebody because I experienced that somebody bullied me, someone talked to me so crazy that I got so scared and just went with it. And I didn't get nothing out of it. It's like what Queen said. She thought, okay, I just, you know, will become this person boyfriend and we'll be boyfriend, girlfriend because this person says so and I sleep with them and then you find out they, 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 they were, they, they tricked you type shit. Or, you know, they make you your boyfriend, girlfriend the first day. And then days later, they treat you like an asshole. Or vice versa, flip a switch the role, whatever fits your story. How somebody could go days without talking to you? How somebody saying they busy, but they don't even got money saved? And you know why I, I bring it up? Because some of these men be trying to figure out how much money you got saved. You got $2,000 saved. They only got 50 bucks. They are intimidated by your success. They got what they want, and now they try to make you feel some type of way. Now they, now you're gonna be blowing up their phone. That's a tactic to have you blow up their phone, text them, "What you doing? Where you at?" Da 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 da. Someone that busy, no one's that busy to not respond. It takes three seconds. It literally takes three seconds. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. The rest of the video will be on my YouTube. Deuces.
Like, there's something special on me. Like, people do not know. I used to let my mom, my ex, lovers or friends have power over my emotions. Like, if they believe in me, I will, I will believe in myself more. And it was just holding me down. It was like some validation that I needed that, that support. Maybe because I always was like the black sheep and always like, okay, you're going to figure it out. You're going to be your own support. And it's kind of fucked up because I'm saying people would try to mistreat you when you down. But then when you, they, they love you when you got money, I will succeed. And you know, parents, we always say they in their narcissistic ways. It is what it is. And we'll still love them. Even if they got some petty triggering things that will trigger your emotion, but you'll still love them. I remember a sis comment on my video and I said, you know, how would you feel about an adult that knew that you was innocent and then knew how mean adults was, but they like triggered you to the point that they made you feel like your dream wasn't going to come true. Cause I dealt with that at uncle. He's like, Oh, you got to get a real job. Cause I, I worked so hard to be a artist and, uh, you know, be in his magnet program. And this person said like, you got to be realistic. And sometimes people are coming from a hurt place. You know, Bratz, the movie with the Cinderella's and Snow White and Jada, um, they all being like, they had to rescue each other. You feel me? Stop thinking people won't love you because what you don't have. It's not what's in your wallet. You got that hustle. You got that drive. You got that. Sometimes you do need help. Sometimes you're going to be in a season where you're going to get help from a man or a woman. You know, it's just how you found potential in people that didn't have no drive, didn't want to do better, didn't want to hustle. You know, give yourself grace. Brent, man, we watched his videos from the beginning of the Out of, Sh Out of Shadow. And he even said there was some looks that he looked at cray cray. And, you know, you know, he got viral for always being like himself, loud, yelling at his sister, princess. You feel me? You, there'll be people that's crazy. There'll be people in your family that might not love you because you're broke. But there'll be people who are strangers, real people that will show you love because you're being yourself and you don't care what other people think. Because clearly, if you did have the money, your hair would be done. If you did have the money, your nails would be done. But you're working what you got and you're still happy and you're abundant. And you don't care what other people think. And that will get you to extend because a lot of people validate other people's opinion. And that's, that's another thing that will stop you from being in your power because some people will hold you in your power because once you figure out your power and how powerful you are and how confident you are, they know that you're about to extend and leave them. And then you, you're, you're going to also see that they was being fake. And sometimes I just notice, like, you know what, whether it was a friend, whether it was a lover, I'm just like, you know what, I'll keep you around. But I know that if you're not here for a good time or a long time, I mean... If, you, if you're not here for a good time or a long time, I understand because you have some mask on you. Imagine, like, it's so funny. Like, I was saying to myself, imagine them people who think, like, their prayers are working because they, they think you're homeless or you're going through this and that. And it's all an illusion just to see God get their karma. Like, people are getting a karma for the shit they did for, to you. Because you're in a season where you're purifying your energy. You're, you're elevating they got nothing on you. I'm not even trying to be cocky. This is God message. Sleeping in a hot car today. This is the download I was getting. Look at Princess Peach. If you just use, imagine this imagination. Like two cartoon characters, okay? This is Princess and this is Mario. Mario's here, Princess behind. Now imagine she chasing Mario. And his big eyes. So you know how Mario eyes are real big. Just looking like a little kid. Like, oh my gosh, she's chasing me. She's chasing me. Don't it look like as the woman you don't have no self-esteem? You don't know your worth? Because in the cartoon games and all the movies that we watch, don't it show men are supposed to be providers and protectors? Even men tell me that they self. It's, yeah, you know, a lot of men like to say it's who they choose to be providers to. But don't let a man play you. Because once he seemed like he, he played you, he did that before because that's a tactic. Because he wants to do nothing but get pleasure out of you. It don't got nothing to do with you. It's a game that he wants to do. He been doing this. There's some men that probably got over 50 body counts. And there was some men that was honest with me. Because he said men that use that tactic, they go to another one and another one. A man that's too, like, even my, he's an Aquarius, bro. 
He's my homeboy. He's a someone that's too quick to invite you into their home. You don't even know them like that. I don't care. You know their birthday, the 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 their favorite color, what they like to eat, how what good job. That's not telling you of a person. That's just telling you the description. You feel me? What does this person do before they get mad? You don't even know. Do this person pray? You don't even know. Do this person help in the community? You don't even know. You don't even know. I remember saying that to myself, like someone getting aggressive. Like, I remember it was just me and him in the car. We on a date, worst bumble date ever. And I'm like, he's like, what is with this? Oh, wait a long time. I'm like, yo, why are you loud? We're the only two in this car. Are you trying to talk over me? Because there's some men that will see that you're sensitive or you have this feminine energy. And they will try to shut you down in order to get what they want. Because I see why Aaliyah Jada was like, uh, be for real. Because a lot of women will ask her about men advice. If the man is not providing for you, if the man's not protecting you, how Mario see Princess. Princess had the skills. She could fight. But as a woman, they're not trying to care like characteristic her like, oh, yeah, she's weak. The man is supposed to be the hero and be brave. That's just how it is. You see, she could get her own coins and he could get her own coins. He liked her because she was the empress and she could take care of her own. On top of that, he could add to her. That's all I got to say. I hope you like this video because this is going to be on my YouTube. That's why certain people I look at weird because it's like, now I see. You're the one that you noticed. You, you got a woman that was down below, was taking care of her. You knew that she was going to, you know like use you ask for it but then know nothing about financial literature or saving and some women don't even care for that because they feel like you hype them up that they're so good in bed that they're supposed to be taken care of and now you're playing victim as men too you have to set the standard of what you're not going to tolerate but telling somebody to show you they value show them what they're going to add to the table and this and that it, it comes off very 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 nasty very rude because I remember I could look back. I remember people was like, oh, yeah, what you going to do for me? Buying ounces, doing this and that. I should have looked at it. I, I shouldn't have to did that. I feel like, you know, you should want to. Someone should give you the opportunity. Like, you know, I'm going through something right now. If you would like to help me, I really would appreciate that. It should be like you are obligated to help somebody. Like, you feel me? It shouldn't be like that, for real. I may not be the best relationship advice, but I feel like the relationship shouldn't be 100%. But it's depending on your relationship. Because there's some men that can handle it. They, they can take care of the whole load and the kids. There's some men that can only do half. You know, they women need to do like a little 30%, sometimes 50-50. But I feel like respect, love, and compassion has to be there. And honest and clear communication and boundaries and respect for one another. If it's not there, the relationship will not work. Because how one person care about the other person feeling and you don't even care about how you're making your girl feel or how you're making your guy feel. That's crazy, man. Some people don't know what love is. And it's okay because I yeah, I know y'all raised in toxic relationships. Um, not toxic relationships, toxic households. But sometimes that's important for you to be single so you can be self-aware. Because a lot of people are not aware. They're not of what they've been consuming, what they've been seeing, thinking that's all right. And that's the one thing I noticed. Like, even someone trying to crush my dream, I know all the stuff I went through, I want to put that through my kid. No matter what financial situation I'm going through. And God is even telling me I'm not going to go through no financial thing because he's seen and tested me through so much. It was a time I couldn't say nothing because this person wanted to be rude and say this and that, making it seem like they was helping me, calling me all type of names. And I'm like, you see why I knew not to ask you for help, but you already bought the food, you already helped me out, now you're calling me out my name and it's, you're making me feel bad. Like it's supposed to be motivation to be like, always have your shit together. Because everybody could rely on you, but you can't rely on them. And that's the shit you got to start cutting out. Because if you don't, when it comes to friends or family or um good people when they really trying to help you out you're gonna look at it and self-sabotage because the bad relationships you had in the past 
of not asking for help. That's why it's important to be with people that you can really genuinely be there for. I don't even like mommying people and telling them where they fuck up and where they piss you off at. Because they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Okay? Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Deuces. And another thing. Sometimes people will project onto you. That's one thing I learned. Where they see you being so driven. They try to put you in a category. But they showed out their ass that they're money hungry. That they money is their happiness. And you're doing stuff that you love. And, and you're happy. And they don't understand how you find your purpose. It's by being kind. It's by helping people even that was unkind. It was during the seasons of, okay, I may not have the wigs and nails. And I want that. But I'm going to support women that do have it. Even if they do give me the side eye. I'm going to give people a compliment because I want to. Sometimes I couldn't because some people was mad rude. You feel me? You just can't get offended by that little shit. You can't get offended when someone's trying to knock you down of what you don't have. Because the same person that's knocking you down is the same person going through the same shit you're going through. Be positive. Believe in the most craziest things. You deserve that. That's why I look at it weird. And now I just, at, at this point, I see why Rihanna says she laughed. I just don't care no more. Because it's just funny. You want fun time. You want good times. Because in your 20s, it's like you're still a teenager. You're learning. You're going through all this dumb shit. In your 30s, you shouldn't be going through any dumb shit. You should be finding somebody, enjoying dating. And if you still haven't found someone, don't put so much heart on it. Rihanna found her person around, what, 34, 35? Okay? Enjoy life. Change the area up. Sometimes, if the relationship hasn't been working, you're 38, sometimes you got to look at yourself. Because sometimes people, men, and especially women, be trying to control things. Or a person got to do this and do that for it to work. And that can become toxic. I remember my friend saying that. And Mila the Magic is the one that says that. She literally said that out her mouth. And I understand where she was coming from. It, it gave me a real eye opener. It made me also, even though I don't do it, I'll be like, you know what? Note it. Because I dealt with people that do it to me. So, just, just note that. Okay. Okay.